So uh, rest in peace to King Von. Uh, I wasn't really a fan of the music. Didn't really uh, know too much about him until this, sadly. I uh, heard the name before, knew he was connected to Dirk some way, somehow. Uh, apparently there was an altercation from the video I saw. I'm sure most of you have seen it already. Yeah. Which is a, a thing in itself, but we'll get nah, to that. Uh, it was a, a tussle ensued. He was uh, shot in the midst of the tussle, not by the person he was tussling with, but someone like off, off he at a distance. He kind of randomly came out of... Of the the back or yeah, yeah it was I mean, judging by the video, it looks like this could have been like <laughs> planned. Yeah, definitely. But a uh, sad situation. Uh, so uh, condolences to his family, his children, uh, anyone associated to the man. I uh, see a lot of stuff on Facebook about uh, the life he led prior to this, and we all did our little uh, investigation and, and found some things out. Doesn't take away from the sadness of the loss. Yeah, not at all. He has people that care about him, just like we all do. <clears throat> Children to take care of. So me personally, I, I was more concerned with things like that. His mother, his father, yeah, yeah. his children, sisters, brothers, if he has any things like that. But uh, we speak about this type of stuff all the time because it seems like it's becoming like a it's an a occurrence. Norm. It's a norm. And I, I won't say that it's, it's something new because it's been going on in, in hip hop, especially for as long as I can remember, right. starting with uh, Biggie and Pac for me. I don't know mm -hmm. if anything happened prior to that, but that was the first experience with uh, violence and hip hop for me. But uh, re regular occurrence, like we were saying, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to talk about because at the same time, we, uh, I won't say we champion these, these artists. Yeah. Me personally, I don't, but I also don't not listen to it. Yeah, and it's 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 weird because it's almost like people criticize music for not being real so much over the years that it turned into this thing to where like if you rap about certain things you have to do you them. Do it, yeah. You have to do them. And um it's just now that so much light is on Chicago as a whole, man, you just see how sad the situation really is in Chicago. I mean, I'm sure it's bad in other places, but like the things that I was watching last night, like that shit is fucking scary, bro. Like Seriously. kids, yeah, killing kids, it's scary, man. And the the influence of it is, is what scares me because we all know down our way they're using Chicago slang, so it's, it's yeah. reached the point where we're. Our kids are even mimicking the things that they say out there. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> the the thing that bothers me the most is the the companies that like make millions and millions of dollars off of this type of stuff. Yeah. You know, uh, the hood music, the that environment. Like we even see it like on the local scene. You got people back in crazy situations. Yeah. That don't honestly know what's really going on with with these situations. You know, mm -hmm. and it's. It's nasty behavior because yeah, at the man. end of the day, it's all for the dollar, the, the power of the dollar. Like you don't mm -hmm. care about the lives you ruin on the way to this dollar or the people you influence or, or or the minds you change on the way to this dollar. I'm not saying you shouldn't listen to this type of music because you're going to do what you, you do. And at the end of the day, he lived this stuff. So like really. it's, in a weird way, it's art. I can't, I no, can't, and, I can't and, say and, don't express yourself. Right. You and, know what I mean? And that's the problem is it is art and he is expressing himself the only way that he knows how but like you're talking about these labels that exploit these situations mm -hmm. they have a responsibility to go back into those communities and and try to do their best to stop it at King Vaughn right. at Lil Dirk at Duck mm -hmm. you know what I mean these artists that you know two of them were on the cusp of really breaking out mm -hmm. when they died mm -hmm. right. and then one is already a superstar. Right. You know what I mean? So they have a responsibility to inject themselves back into those communities and try to help fix some of what's causing to create this really good art because the shit is real. Right. Like it's really real. It's just sad. Anything you guys want to chime in on this one for we? Nah, just a, uh, <clears throat> a sad situation. You feel me? And I'm tired of seeing it, but you know, uh, it's it's kind of it's kind of crazy because when you see it in a weird way, when people say rest in peace, you you can go on uh, um, you can go on YouTube, you can watch Doctor Man. It, in a weird way, you doing nothing but glorifying it. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And 
and that's just it's like so deep and so embedded like that's why it was a question like uh on Facebook which is better success or revenge you oh, feel yeah, me? I saw and that. this is like what revenge do like you get revenge you keep going you get deeper and you get deeper you get deeper It'll people get stop. they feelings hurt then you get other people involved mm -hmm. now you got this snowball effect that's just crazy mm -hmm. and it's street shit so this is a this is a example for the young kids that's at the crossroads you want to do good in life or you want to go to the streets this is the streets mm -hmm. it's not going to change the streets is undefeated yeah this is the streets yeah if you think you're going to go out there and and not be it's just it's the streets it's mm -hmm. a beast yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when it's hard to escape. It's in your face, man. Yeah, man. You don't you don't have to but, be in the street to know what happened. But you know, it's it's crazy and <clears throat> not to get super deep, but these kids are not afraid to die. Yeah. Because yeah. they see when people die how cool people make mm -hmm. it look mm -hmm. that you die. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. They don't, they're not afraid to die. It's the most attention you will ever get in your life. But it only and that's what they're for a couple seeking. Facebook posts. Right. That's it. But or that's what people yeah. are seeking. They want this highest level of, of respect. And in Chicago right now, that's the thing. It's like Death or you killing. either kill more people <laughs> or you die. Mm, yeah. That's literally how they're living. And it's, it's fucking scary, man. And either one makes you a legend. Exactly. <laughs> it's the crazy thing. So you're seeking the highest level of of attention, of respect, and one or the other is either to kill as many people as you can or to die. Yeah. And that's what they chasing. The crazy thing is the, the person he's allegedly beefing with, like both of y'all are rich. Like, Super yeah. rich. Uh, what, rich. Is, what, what do we have to argue over? Let, let's go rich young <laughs> eat, man, eat some amazing food at one of these restaurants that we can <laughs> afford and talk about this shit. Yeah. But what's so crazy <clears throat> is like, I ain't never really like been big into like the drill scene or whatever, but mm -hmm. um, it's crazy. A lot of times, my only time hearing about these up and coming Chicago rappers is when they get killed by yeah. another yeah. Chicago another rapper, Chicago you know rapper, I mean? or or, or the his same camp crew, or whatever. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? I don't,